Well, hello, my friends, and thank you so much for tuning in with me, Letitia McKinney, and welcome to Designing with Letitia McKinney. If this is your first time here, you love this content, click that subscribe button and turn on your bell ringer, and guess what? You should not be missing anything. So today, we're going to do something a little bit different, and I'm going to tell you all about some DIYs that's going to surprise you. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to be showing you all some videos I was not too fond of. However, you all loved them. And that is what made me so excited about it. So especially in this tutorial right here, I didn't add any bling. I only did like these little picks from Dollar Tree and some rocks. You guys absolutely loved it. I'm so thankful. Now, a lot of you already know that I am a floor specialist. So that's my field. And I'm just so excited that you all really received that. Now, in this one, it was no DIY. Someone requested to see all of the DIYs that I did before I started YouTube doing thrift store items. So, I mean, the camera was shaking and everything when I was doing it because, hey, I was still fresh and new on YouTube. Now, I'm going to place in a side note. I did not know anything about a tripod, okay? So, that's why that baby is shaking. Now, with this DIY, I was very skeptical about doing it because I did not venture out and do it the way I wanted to. Now, these theme stickers, I have been using them for years. I mean, for years, everyone. And I have used them for like weddings, especially like sand weddings and things like that. Several things I have shared it with our students on the things that you can use with these theme stickers. So I only placed some some stones on there, everybody, and just made it very simplistic for you all. But I really want to venture out with that. However, with the classes that we're going to be having, I am going to be showing you all some beautiful things you can actually do with using those theme stickers. So this is what your friend did. All I did was just took some of the brooches. I just place one on top of the other as you see me doing and then I'm going to take that beautiful red rose because I love red roses gonna place it inside of there look the correct way okay and then after that I'm going to place those beaut those are like my favorite brooches okay everyone my favorites okay and place it on top you all absolutely love it and it's still like one of my top videos so I thank you all so much and I just went around the top with the silver leaf and pen and I told you all to put some of the water beads in there but make sure that it doesn't touch your floor because it can bleed. I am still trying to figure out to this day this is just one that I was just like what? I totally just freestyle with this one here. I just got me a Dollar Tree mirror and say hey I'm going to just go with it. I love the little small mirrors that a lot of people was using yet i wanted to do something totally different so this is the picture frame that everybody was using on youtube and it was just so beautiful to me so i was like hey let me try something a little bit different and let me just venture out a little bit more now i'm going to tell you <laughs> why it's not one of my faves and it's going to shock you all as well and this video is just for us to have a lot of fun with this is when you all start absolutely seeing the instructor side of me some people's like you're not talking too much in the videos we need to learn more so this is when i just started you know doing a lot of instructing doing the videos because that's what i do now i'm very detailed because i want everyone to be the best at what they do now some people said that i wasn't as detailed as they wanted me to be so i'm going to go over this in just a little bit more i just took that fourth mirror and placed it at the bottom you want to make sure that you leave at least a inch or a half an inch on the back part so therefore it does no damage to anything is what I'm going to say with the fifth one you're just gonna place it on top I didn't have to use like any measuring tape or nothing like that you know as a designer you can just start to eyeball everything so that's what I was saying my friends you know just eyeball it and you can see it and you're good to go this is what I actually want to do with it I wanted to stop the reason why is because my mind was going like into interior design mode because I'm an interior designer as well so it was some things that I absolutely wanted to do with and I wanted to stop right here and do some extras with it however I had to stop because I do understand some individuals that was talking to me in the past saying that some of the designs that I was doing a couple years ago can be kind of difficult for them to do. And I totally understand that. 
So what I ended up doing was just taking a tea light candle holder, which is so cute. These were just so absolutely cute to me. And I placed on my favorite heart brooch and I just adhered it together, everyone. I still have it up hanging in our home today, everyone. And I use the command strips to hold it up with, but however, make sure that you read the back of your command strip in order to know how to properly place it on. Now I did place some E6000 right there and then just, you know, placed it right there on top. And I'm just gonna use some tape. I'm gonna show you all, but I did not place it right there in the center because it didn't have anything sturdy to hold on to. And that's what I was trying to explain to many people in the actual video. So that's what you guys are going to see me do i'm going to go over that step for you all again so you can see what i was actually talking about i placed the e6000 right on the back of the candle holder then i took some just basic tape from the dollar tree and i used that to hold it in place for about 48 hours is what I did. I always say 48 hours, everyone, because like I've told you and being honest, I've had things to happen in the past, just being honest. So therefore I did take some brooches and I placed them just like this on there. Did that look again for y'all, remove that pin. There we go. And I let you all see how it looked on the wall. Now, I don't do home tours at all. So I did let y'all see an inch of my house, okay? I did let y'all see just an inch of it, all right? But I don't do home tours and things like that. So I do want to let you all know that. Now, all I did was just, you know, place some hot glue on the top of it and then just adhere it. That's all I did, my friend. And when I was done with this video, you guys, I end up taking the brooch at the top off. I am just being so totally honest because honesty is the key. And I really wanted to just really venture out and with this you know, video, but however, like I said, in our classes, we are just going to execute it and have a lot of fun. So I did want to go back over that tutorial because you guys have sent me some pictures of, a, I mean, pretty much everything, but I haven't got a picture of that one. <laughs> so I did want to go back over it because a lot of people did say it was kind of complex to do. So this is when you all got a chance to see my stacking method. Now this was me venturing out everyone. I just placed it on my desk. That's what I did and used it as organized. All right. I was just pretty much having fun and this was a freestyle video as well and it really turned out better than what i thought it did and it really hit you guys eye better than what i thought it did and i was like hey don't you know that this can actually be used as a centerpiece so in that with me thinking that i was just like wow it wowed me on how you can use something so simple just with some wine glasses and make it your main center piece the way i placed it up there and so when i did the paint technique right there in that icon when i did that spray paint technique to get the look that i wanted i was just like wowing my own self so it was new to me too to many of your surprise this has been added to my list Yes, I was just not satisfied with this DIY. I know I'm going to get some stuff in the comments like, Letitia, are you serious? I know I'm going to get some emails, some phone calls, and some text messages. But I really didn't, my friends. I was just just doing something. And a lot of us designers and a lot of us have talked on the phone. We just turn the camera, just be like, hey, I'm just going to do it. And hey, I'm just going to see how it turns out. And that's what I did. And it came out very lovely and beautiful to you all. And I was just like, wow. So I just kept it, allowed me, you know, used it for the bride wedding that I used it for. And she was just so absolutely stunned by it. So it is still holding up till this day. And I did some, some DIYs for you guys when last year, showing you how that actual charger, Dollar Tree charger, is still holding up today. So what I want to leave with you all, what you think that you are not attracted to or what you feel like isn't your best, it is someone out there that absolutely love what you're doing. And that's something I told to one of our students just a few days ago. 
what you think hey somebody else just absolutely love it that is just us being like a perfectionist about it so i want you all to be confident in yourselves you keep striving and going forward and you can absolutely do this so with our new content we're just going to be having an awesome and fun time together hey we make a hiccup we make a hiccup together know that i am here with you we thank you so much for tuning in with us and god willing we are going to see you all in the next one. Blessings, our friends.